What's up guys, John here from Possum University and today we're going to talk about how to update your pet's microchip information. Although microchipping is at an all-time high, one thing I noticed in my time at animal sheltering is that most microchips come back unregistered, which means there's no owner information associated with it, and all we know is who implanted the chip. So we're gonna talk about how to update your pet's microchip information today so that you can make sure everything's up to date in case they ever get out. For those of you that don't know what a microchip is, it's a tiny little chip, the size of a grain of rice, and it's implanted between your cat or dog's shoulder blades, and with a reader, an animal control officer, a veterinarian, an animal shelter worker can scan between their shoulder blades and it'll come back with a chip number. That chip number is going to be registered by one of the microchip companies and they're going to hold the information for the owner. If your pet has a microchip, the microchip number is going to come back to your information. So it's important that that's always up to date. If you don't know if your pet has a microchip, next time you go to the vet, ask them to scan it. If it does, they'll be able to pull up a number, make sure you write that number down and then follow these steps to make sure you update the microchip in your name. So I need to update Oakley's information. When we first adopted Oakley, we weren't sure what we wanted to name him. So although the shelter did everything as far as updating the owner information, who we are, our phone number, our address, his name is still Bud3, which just goes to show you how overcrowded shelters are in the South. We got him from South Carolina. Um, and that there's two other Buds in that shelter at least. So we're gonna change his name in the system. He's currently Bud3 and we're going to change it to Oakley. So after we adopted Oakley, the shelter provided us with a packet of all of his information, his medical records, and conveniently, inside of here is his microchip information. With the chip, companies like Home Again, which is one of the biggest manufacturers of microchips and the biggest database, they'll give you a card like this, and that card's going to have the microchip number, and then on the back, it's going to have all the contact print information, what you should do if you lose your pet, and any kind of tips like that. So we know that Oakley is registered with home again for his chip number, and we have his chip number here. You could also check your dog's medical records. Um, the veterinary may have it on file, so there may be a bunch of other places, but you need this number if you want to update your pet's information. So there's a ton of different microchip companies out there and a bunch of different databases. So first things first, we need to find out what database your pet's microchip is listed under. The American Animal Hospital Association has an awesome website. We're gonna go to that website now. We're gonna plug in Oakley's microchip number and it's gonna come back with what registry he's on. That should be home again. All right, so we're logged on to petmicrochiplookup.org. See, down at the bottom here, you'll see a search bar. Right in that search bar is where we're gonna type in the microchip number that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Oakley's. So now this should come back as home again. And there it is. Microchip is enrolled with home again. Date last updated August 5th, 2018, which is when we adopted him. And then it gives you the number to call. So we're going to go ahead and call and we're going to update his microchip information. Press three. Home again, pet owner support. In order to better service your call, please choose from one of the following menu options. To enroll, transfer, or update home again services, press one. To renew or inquire about a renewal notice, press two. For password support, press We're gonna press one. Call may be monitored or recorded for quality purposes. Good evening, pet parent support. This is Carolina. Hi Carolina, my name's John. I'm looking to update my dog's name on the microchip. Gotcha. Uh, what is your pet's microchip number? It's gonna be 985. And just for confirmation purpose, what is your last name and address? I believe it's under Jamie's name.
Yeah, he's Bud Three in the system. The new name is Oakley O A K L E E. Yep. And there's Osho 6695. It should be 9565. 9565. Okay, let me check it real quick. Try to get the card Thank you, you too. Thanks for your help. So it's that easy. The good thing about Home Again is you don't need to wait on hold. You could just go to homeagain.com. Um, if you have this card, it instructs everything on the back. If you don't, just go to homeagain.com. Um, all you need is your pet's microchip number, your, their microchip ID number, and you can create an online account there. You could change everything about your pet on there. But if you don't know any of that information, then you gotta call. So it's that easy. Hope that helps you guys. That's really important to have that information updated. Like I said, most microchips, are not registered they don't come back to anybody um, so make sure you utilize that tool it's really good to have they might not always have their collar on them or their tag on them but they're always gonna have their microchip that's all we got for today as always class dismissed